Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to bulk edit items on TurboLister. So as you can see, we start out, or we're starting out in our inventory area. Currently have 10 items here. And let's say that I want to change the shipping information on all my items. Now the thing you need to keep in mind with TurboLister is that you can only edit like with like. So if I were to highlight all of my items because I want to bulk edit them and I click the edit button I'm gonna get an error because I don't have the same format selected so instead I'm going to go ahead and just select auctions I'm not going to include the fixed price with this click edit what this is going to do is bring up like a universal change window any changes you make within this window will apply to all of the highlighted items. Now, one of the things you may notice straight away is that under title it says multiple values. The reason why it says multiple values is because all of my titles are different. The values are not the same. My start price is the same, which is why you see 250 for my start price. If I had various start prices, this would also say multiple values. Anything that's different between the items selected is going to say multiple values. Anything that's exactly the same will flat out show you, you know, what it is. So in this case, let's say that we want to change our shipping. We're going to come down to shipping. Let's go ahead and make a change. When you're done making your changes, what you're going to do is you're going to click Save. It's going to give you another message that it's going to apply to all selected items. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll see it was UPS Ground. Click Close. Now it's FedEx Ground. So that change is applied to everything that's been highlighted. Another way you can bulk edit items instead of clicking this button up here you can right click and select edit multiple items. You can also come up to this edit and edit multiple items. So TurboLister really gives you a lot of functionality in the way that you can you know, work on eBay. One thing you want to keep in mind if you're working with variation listings that you cannot bulk edit variation items. You have to do those individually. So it, even if they're, I mean, they're both going to be fixed priced, but they're, they'll have a little, um, this is my variation column. I don't have a variation listing right now, but it would have like a little plus sign here if I did. You can't change anything within variation listings in bulk, so you just have to click into it and do it that way. You can also bulk edit active items. In order to do that, you would go to your listing activity section. I don't have anything in there right now and I don't want to synchronize so I'm going to click cancel but it'll still take me there. Now if I had active listings I could highlight the items that I wanted to change. It would bring up that universal change window. At that point I make my changes, click save. There'll be a little flag over here and that's when you highlight or hover over the flag. It's going to say that there are pending changes. Now, when you're making changes to active listings, you have to synchronize to push that change out to your eBay listings. So what you're going to need to do is you always want to synchronize first to populate what you have currently on eBay to your listing activity section. You're going to make your changes and save. Then you're going to synchronize to push that change back out. So it's always synchronize, change and save, synchronize. So you want to kind of get into that flow or that rhythm if you're changing active items within the TurboLister program. Sometimes when people use TurboLister, they're trying to edit from their sold or unsold items and they can't get the window to come up. That's because you can't edit something that's not active. So what you would do if you wanted to relist, you could, you know, cl click the item. Uh, you know, if you go to your unsold section, let's say we had items in here. You would select a listing, you click to relist or sell similar. It's going to create a copy of that listing and place it into your waiting to upload. You could make your changes, you know, to your waiting to upload then. Or you could highlight your items, copy them, paste them to inventory, make changes there, and then upload from there. 
And so those are the two areas that you can bulk edit your items. In the inventory section, you can bulk edit anything in here that are not variation listings, and also the listing activity section under active items. Keep watching for more videos on how to stock up your eBay arsenal.